It's the C3 News Show. And here we go again. I'm Chris and this is the third and final C3 News Show for the Devoc Reboot to Respawn. It is Sunday, April the 4th, 2021. Today's news show has a focus on the 2D world. We bring you a quick outlook for the remaining day of R2R. And of course, as usual, we will end this episode with our carrot of the day. Let's go. Did you ever wonder who's behind our 2D world? Wonder no more. We talked to Tabasco Eye about the project, about the Work Adventure Community Edition, how to join the project and about what's next. Take it away. I now have with me uh, Tabasco Eye, one of the people who are working on continuing to improve our t 2D world. I feel I, I heard you started a, a new edition of, of the work adventure, the, the work adventure community edition, experimental community edition. I thought that the work adventure already was an open source project. How did that come about? Uh, it's complicated. <laughs> so, um... Actually, before the RC3 uh, last year in December, um, I uh, added uh, animations basically into the world, into work adventure, so to speak, um, which was just loading a plugin for the game engine that is the underlying uh, under the work adventure. And uh, I submitted a pull request for that, and that is still open as of today. Um, and after RC3, the, um, the need for the world was still there. So um, I started trying to set up my own instance for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically try to pick all the different um, things we added for RC3, in, uh, the patches to merge them together and stuff like that. And had my own fork, so to speak, from uh, Work Adventure. Leading up to... Um, work Adventure XCE, as, as we call it. I uh, started that together with uh, Pizza Katze from uh, Hackers Bay Siegen um, because he also had a, a fork of Work Adventure with other features and also trying to incorporate possibly everything that was done for RC3. Uh, do you have like features you're currently working on or that you know are currently working on uh, that, that people are currently working on that you're especially excited for? Like, what, what's, what's the big vision? Um, well, I actually tried to get my own admin backend to work. Okay. Um, so uh, the official work adventure, um, the, the main difference between the paid version, so to speak, and the um, self-hosted open source version is that they have an admin backend where they have features like uh, actual logins, um, banning people, reporting people, uh, sending global messages, which is kind of fun, and things like that. Um, and the RP is, of course, there because it's open source, um, but you have to create your own admin backend for that. We, we would love to have people uh, um, contributing to the XCE fork on GitHub. So it's github.com slash workadventure dash XCE. Uh, is the username and then the uh, repository name is the same. So uh, maybe like as a final question for uh, like an outlook, if we had another event at the end of the year using Work Adventure, what would be the one feature you you really want to have done by then? What is the one thing you you feel like that's that's mission accomplished? I I spent the year well this time. Um, moving around in groups without losing each other. That was the most requested feature at RC3 already. And I thought a lot about how to realize that with the tech stack, so to speak, of Work Adventure. And I was kind of close of having an idea that it would be pretty simple to uh, implement. But I didn't think about uh, exiting two different maps. Um, so I, I don't know how... Yeah, how we how we will uh, implement that uh, to be uh, integrated into Work Adventure in a way that we don't have to change a lot uh, and it still works regularly. Uh, yeah, people who know stuff about TypeScript and JavaScript are more than welcome to contribute because again, 
not my <laughs> not my main uh, thing. So uh, I want to say thank you for for your time. Thank you for answering our questions. No problem. And, and I hope you you got out everything that you want the people to know. Awesome. And while we're on the topic of the 2D world, here are some impressions. We are back in the 2D world and reboot to respawn. To the sea base, maybe? Hey, here's our newsroom. Here's a waffle recipe. And is this a police box? Hmm. Wow. Okay. Did you remember to register your extension for the event phone system? The POC has a really seriously big easter egg here. Oops, I tripped over a Marty bottle. And they got their own private bellabart and party. Do you remember the mirror board from RC3? The the one where where a whole bunch of you started to document the world maps and the connections in the 2D world? That was a really impressive community effort. And uh, for me personally, that was the moment I understood that the 2D world was here to stay. Well, there's a new board for this event, for R2R. It's just a tiny little baby for now, but just in case you feel the urge to help document the current 2D world, here's the link. Dig in. And now it's time again for a quick peek at the far plan for the rest of the day and for tomorrow, Monday, April the 5th, 2021. Tonight, there's a talk about online elections. We end the day with some oons, oons, oons. Mm -hmm. And for you early birds, tomorrow at around 11, some AI background and infrastructure in the afternoon. For the last time, let's end today's C3 News Show in the kitchen with the queen of all carrot dishes, Katsatsi's carrot cake. Today, we bake a traditional carrot cake. The ingredients for the cake and for the icing. Grate your carrots and the lemon peel. Mix the hazelnuts with the breadcrumbs and the baking powder. The cinnamon. Separate your eggs. Beat the egg whites until whip well. Take the egg yolks. Tip. Add five tablespoons of hot water. This will help it to get fluffy. Vanilla sugar and the lemon zest. Add the rum the dry ingredients and carrots. Carefully fold in the egg whites. Fill the dough into the greased form and bake for 50 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. For the icing, press the lemon juice. Take the powdered sugar and add the juice and water near your icing. Spread the icing on the cake. Enjoy! Mmm, yummy! And that was the final C3 news show for Divock Reboot to Respawn. It was a pleasure bringing you the daily news. Our whole team says goodbye. Don't forget to check our channel, this one here. And if you can, please subscribe for some more cool stuff in the future. Until then, take care and bye-bye.